All right, Spurs being beaten one 0 by Man United here at Wembley. I'm here with Harvey. How did we end up losing that game? Uh, De Gea made, just made save after save, didn't he? He won them the game, basically. Yeah, he just won them the game. We had so many chances as well, but I say just saved them the game. I think Ali had the best, the best chance really to win it, really, and he sort of missed the sitter. Really, he delayed his shot and. De Gea sort of got back really I say it's very disappointing really after the run we've been on especially after the win on Wednesday night and um, yeah it's just really disappointing really who, any, who stood out for you today from a Spurs point of view um, I think Lorente came on in the last sort of 10 minutes and he did okay as pity Poch didn't bring him on earlier really I think he would have done maybe set up a goal or maybe scored even he looked the most threat I think I think he had It'd a shame if he left in January in the end of the day wouldn't it because he, recently he's done quite well off the bench he would be yeah, he's a very good number two I think to Kane I think I think he's, I think he's a really good number backup I think but I think we have to see. I think we definitely need some players though in this January transfer window to strengthen the team. Yeah. I think because we sort of need to really to ca- if we want to have any aspirations of catching City and Liverpool. Really, we got to try and. Is that boat not gone? That boat not sailed now? We still hold still some hope for you. I think there's still some hope. Yeah, I think we've still got a good chance of getting top three. Definitely, we're definitely going to get in the top four this year, and I think we've got a good chance as well getting to the League Cup final as well. So hopefully, yeah, I think we're I think we're doing all right. Yeah, it's just so disappointing. Again, we sometimes have a few good games and we sometimes have a blip in each sort of game. We just need to find some more consistency um, throughout in these next few months, really, if we want to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah, but also it's, it's very frustrating, isn't it, that we again had the opportunity to go ten points clear of Arsenal. We had a chance to kind of cut the gap to Liverpool to six points, and we end up not even getting a point today, losing the game. What do you think it means for our season, having lost today? I think it just means we're just going to stay fit. I think we're not. I think we're just sort of playing catch up now. I think. I think we've sort of. I think we've got to accept where we we are, where we are, unfortunately. And I think definitely we need to get in the new stadium as soon as possible, really, because I think with the fans are sort of had enough now playing all their home games at Wembley. It's just I think we need to to get in that home. We need to get our batting on this stadium uh, straight away, really. <laughs> I mean, happy United fans there. Yeah. How, if Sissoko, he got injured today, didn't he? If if that if he's out for any period of time, we could be really screwed because Winks is only our only fit centre mid with Skip obviously off the bench. What, uh, how bad could it be if Sissoko's out? It's really bad. Yeah, I thought in the first sort of 20, 30 minutes, he was actually bossing the game. You could tell with his pace yeah. and he was actually setting up a few corners and set pieces. I thought it's such a blow, really. I think that was one of the reasons as well. We had a massive blow and he went off for sure because he saw, he's been one of our best midfielders, I think. He stepped up a lot this year and he's been definitely one of the the player of the season, I think, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So we really have to sign someone known to midfield today? Yeah, we need to, yeah. And then more as well, we need back as well, definite for definite as well, because him and Sissoko are a good combination. They sort of offer pace and creativity through the midfield, really. They offer a lot, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just one of those days, unfortunately. Yeah, go again next week against Fulham. All right, nice coming yeah, on, Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. one, cheers. <laughs>